The Moto 360 has been out for over a year now. Even the second generation model has been released. That means that you can get the 2014 edition for a very affordable price. Here I'm rocking the champagne gold version which came out a little bit later than the initial release. And I also put a silver metal band onto it just to make it look a little bit unique. Now the software on the Moto 360 is rocking the latest version of Android Wear, just like the Huawei Watch in the Moto 362. So in that aspect, there's not much difference at all. The software runs very smoothly considering it is a first generation Android Wear device. However, the processor is pretty antiquated, so as new updates do come out, it's not a guarantee that we'll see them. Now, one of the pros or cons of the first generation Moto 360 is that it sported a lugless design. That means it was very compact looking. However, putting new bands on are a pain in the butt, and some bands may even crack the back of your watch. Now, I personally think that a smartwatch should not cost more than your smartphone, and the Moto 360 version 2 and the Huawei watch can cost $400 and up. And now, the Moto X, made by the same company, Motorola, also costs $400. I personally don't think an extension of your smartphone should cost more than your smartphone. So that's what makes the Moto 360 first generation even more appealing to me. It allows you to check your notifications and, you know, just keep your hands out of your pocket and checking your phone all day. I can, you know, quickly swipe away some notifications while I'm typing on the keyboard, go back to work, and be happy that I didn't break the bank. And that's really the biggest thing that the first generation Moto 360 has. It's nearly identical to all the other watches that have come out simply due to the software. The software is all the same and you don't need to run games or anything crazy on a watch. So updated you know, hardware isn't really that important to me. Battery life is okay, but just put it on a charger every night and you're good to go there. That's it guys, that's all I really have to say about this watch. It's a great watch, and you may want to consider buying it versus the newer bad boys that have come out this year. See you guys later, bye.